the curse season 1 finale recap, things are looking up. A jump ahead in time finds the seagulls almost seeming happy, or at least faking it well enough. Then something absolutely bonkers happens. Season 1, Episode 10, Green Queen. Certain kinds of surprises are de rigueur in television. The shock of when a character unexpectedly dies, for instance. It's jolting, sure, but it's nothing too out of the ordinary. Television writers do it all the time. And then there's whatever just happened in the final episode of The Curse. Since watching this hour plus of television, my mind has been reeling as I try to figure out what to say about it. Should I attempt to determine what actually occurred, even though I don't think there's an explanation? Should I just marvel at its weirdness? Should I try to unpack symbolically the intentions of Nathan Fielder and Benny Safdie? Sure. I guess, to all of it. But I also think the pure bizarreness is sort of the point. All I know is that the final episode of this first season, but perhaps not the only season, of The Curse is one of the most bonkers, baffling, creative and I think brilliant episodes of television I've watched in a long time, the kind of thing that challenges what TV can do. Because here's what happens at the end of the episode, Asher is sucked into space. Not metaphorically. Literally. The last image of Asher we see is him frozen, floating above the earth into the stars.